Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Roy Jones Jr., 80 kilos bang on, 180 centimeters tall with a reach of 188. And he'll be up against Lyndon King Arthur, 176 pounds. He's six foot two. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr., one of the greatest of all time, Pensacola's finest, an undisputed champion at four different weight classes. This bout is getting so much hype. So they ring the bell, and here we go. A straight right just misses. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. There's a counter shot. Score with that right uppercut. This is with a right uppercut. Sometimes when you're fighting a counter fighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be honest. You've got to be honest. You've got to be a pro. You've got to be right. Concentrate. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this part will say, you know what? I'm just that much of both of And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Nobody home with that hook. Oh, and that was a big shot to Arthur. Down goes Lynn Arthur. And as we watch it again, that punch takes the wind out of him and the will to continue. That lights out right there. And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full barrel because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. with that jab. Nice counter punch right up the middle. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fight. A good counter punch at the help people that make the most of us Shaking it off. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, get yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to play this Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once, they know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense, work on defense, blocking the stopping and shooting. <laughs> And he scores with the counter. Right uppercut just off target. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. 
Jones in that last round. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Make We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round? Oh, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Can't find a home for that jab. He wanted action and they are delivering. One punch can change everything in this battle. Let's that jab. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, time to close them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they send their belts, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. That counter punch caught him clean. Swing and a miss with that uppercut. Jones in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. They ring the bell and here we go. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Because my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Straight right just misses. As we enter the final frames of this battle, Arthur got the worst of that exchange and he might go down. Good job trying to back out of trouble. What the could you still say? Oh, what a shot it was. Completely got out of There's no way to the finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed back on it. Like it never happened. Way through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. These two were made for each other. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both parties have for each other. Because no one can do anything out of turn. Just missing with the uppercut. Straight right, just misses. Straight right, just misses. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Roy Jones in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Because my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. No doubt that this 
fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. The power, the power might be the door guy. The power might be the, the equalizer. Can't take anymore, and down he goes. How about that technique on the headshot? Let's see it again and appreciate it more. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt. 